concludes all of our cases. Is there any further business that we need to discuss? office, over off Norman Drive, um, mainly hosted by the Regional Commission, so they will open it up to everyone in the region to attend, but it is excellent ground level training for anyone on the Planning Commission or Zoning Board of Appeals. We would like to take as many of you who are willing to go, budget allowing, um, what we've done in the past is each member government pays for their folks to go. Uh, we've got money, I know, in the Valdosta budget to do some of this. Same with the county appointees. We have money for training. And I'll tell you, Matt, do you know if Chrissy is actually performing? Is she doing more training? Chrissy Marlowe. She yes. is very experienced. Yeah, she, um, she's, she needs to be very beneficial if we have detailed or challenging questions. She normally is able to um, she, give very helpful perspective on that. She does this around the state. She does this around the state as well as other things similar at the GMA conferences um, that I've known her for 30 years. And you'd like a commitment tonight? So. We'd like a general, we're trying to get a head count and I want to at least get our numbers in place before the region fills up the room over there. Um, it's just now getting word out and confirmed, but I've reconfirmed the date um, to make sure we're on. This is the Tuesday after your June Planning Commission meeting, so we'll have a reminder then. Um, what we'll do after tonight is send this around more formally in an email to everybody um, and get a request by a certain date. And then maybe tomorrow or when I come back into town, but get an idea of what budget funds we have. Um, that haven't been robbed yet since we are near the end of the fiscal year. So I know other than Chris and I, I think everybody else is either city or county. So is it my responsibility to reach out to Hey Hiro to see if they'll pay for this? And if so, do we know the You can do that or I can send an email to them and okay. ask. Um, I'm going to be out of town for 10 days, so it might be good for both of us to do that. Okay. Just do we know the cost? Sure. I, then I have to put yeah, and I don't know the exact cost yet. I know what the registration has <coughs> been in the past. In my emails earlier today with the Regional Commission, there's a question of lunch, whether it's lunch on our own or lunch being provided. And if it's lunch being provided, which would be my preference, just to kind of keep everyone there, mm -hmm. um, does that affect the registration fee? And if so, how much? So all that's still a little bit of a moving target, so I don't have exact numbers. Okay. And I can't remember what we did 10 years ago. I don't remember it being $50 a person, oh. maybe. I mean, I don't I don't think this is $100, $200 a person. I think it's gone up. I think yeah, it's, sure. it's, the last one they've done, which was in Gwinnett County, and maybe because of the facility up there, but I think it's $195 a person. So the good part about this is we can do our training for ourselves and not have to travel expense. That, that's awesome. And which also means time expense. All right, all right, so most of you all will be there, if yes. able. I'll be there. I, I, I've got an eye appointment at 2 o'clock, I'll see if I can move it. Yeah. I have an eye appointment at 2 o'clock today. Well, and part of it is if we do provide lunch, it should speed up the program. Yeah, but what we've given you is the flyer and the basic schedule. <laughs> And we have the next to the last that always ends a little early. Thank you. 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 Thank